Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 5 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragons. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You guys, come on. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you actually really liked each other? Cody, are you okay? <laughs> Peace, enjoy. What is that? No? Okay, thank God. I thought it was something else. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is dog. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, go play. Or go lay down, whatever you're gonna do. Mm. Hmm? Elma? how cold her eyes are. <laughs> it's a really nice pillow. <laughs> Probably.
So that's how it started. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, God. There you go, it's better. <laughs> mm. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, because you know, food is good. <laughs> Uh-uh. 
啊。Yeah, I, I, mm. Mm-hmm. Do you even have experience? Okay, so you don't want to be around food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I think she found something. Oh. She found where she wants to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be fine.
Mm-hmm. And it's okay to be nervous. <laughs> 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 no, girl. <laughs> you say that, and you probably gonna fall for her. She just wants money, just like the rest of us. Excuse me. Wait, no, my... <laughs> Go change the bed. No! a little too big on me. <sighs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> kids. <laughs> oh, God, imagine if I said that. Mm. Kids are adorable.
that's beautiful. I'm saying that now, but it's something different, isn't it? Honestly, that was so fucking cute. Literally, you know, honestly, dead ass. Like, now I kind of want a whole, whole anime spinoff. 12 episodes, 13, 26 episodes of Elma and Toru traveling together. I think that would be really awesome. I mean, yeah, getting to see it in one episode is nice, but to have, like, a whole season and seeing, you know, not only the arguments that they get into, like, always, maybe even another fight, two or three, but just any other things in between would have been nice. Seeing baby in it and get her first job and then, you know, so cute, oh my god. But okay, Take, he kind of reminds me of, um, okay, he gives me, if Makoto, Haru, and I don't remember his fucking name, the kid from hey uh heyoka um what the fuck was your damn name because he's my favorite character in that show uh the main character him if they were all <laughs> together as one person that's take in a nutshell kind of i mean because he's very sarcastic at times and such but because you know he's never met someone like editor especially with you know Big boobs and just like that. Yeah, of course, he's going to feel some type of way about her. But yeah, they're cute together. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I think I put this on wrong. <laughs> oh, pity. Ah, of course, a Capricorn. It is probably going to be a while until a Libra, it, you know, no, give it about like three weeks. A Libra is probably going to find a following pop up and I'm gonna be like, yes, like there's my side, bitch. But seriously, that ass, like this was a really cute, interesting episode. Number one, to see the past of Toru and Elma, because I think ever since season one had aired and when Elma officially comes or she's welcome into the group and the dynamic between her and Kobayashi, and I'm about to say Kobayashi. Toru, my bad, um, is the way that it is. It makes you wonder, like, from that first time, did y'all ever have a time when you two ever weren't arguing? And to see how they were in the past to where they are now, I mean, yeah, they can still kind of be friends. I mean, we consider them, yes, that they are friends. They're more of, like, frenemies and such, where, like, they only can possibly get along because of Kobayashi, because of the fact is that they care for Kobayashi oh so much, but because they're, because at the same time they're similar, but they're very different, and I really can see them possibly by the end of this series, like, you know, saying, hey, let's just start over on a clean slate, and da da da, this is that and the third. I mean, how something might even tell me Kobayashi might be the one to say, you know what, fuck it, instigate it. You are going to make the fuck up and you're going to get along and such. But yeah, I mean, I loved seeing these two argue this week to see their dynamic, how it started to where it currently is. Because, I mean, I love them both. That's all. I mean, they're, they're yeah, because they're, they like my sex. Third and fourth best girl of the show, even I guess, yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a really cute 
episode. I really hope that we get more scenes between Edito and Take because I really like those two as a kind of a couple and I'm starting to kind of shift them a bit because they just look cute together and such. So hopefully that happens. I would like to see him hang out with everybody else and hell, maybe them going to like an amusement park or just like, I, I think one thing that I would probably want to see for this series again, I think, remember when this had like an OVA? And they went, I think it was like the Valentine's Day OVA episode. I want something like that again for like by the time the show ends. Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't, but of course we gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Wednesday for episode 6. Bye, guys.